Well, welcome to a new little episode for the Kruger Parade Baptist Church that we're calling Kruger Stories. What we thought would be really good during this time where we've got COVID-19 happening is if we could actually meet some of the people that you may see on a Sunday morning. And right now, because we're kind of in isolation and dealing with things at home, we thought instead we could bring those people to you. And so today we're going to start with a conversation with Chris Barnes. Chris, thanks very much for joining us on Kruger Stories. You are episode one, a very privileged position for everybody. Is that a guinea pig? <laughs> Something like that. Well, listen, tell us about Chris Barnes and your wife, Faye. Um, you've been coming along to Kruger now for about 12 months. You want to give us a bit of your background? Where did you come from? What's a little bit of your life journey? Uh, we've uh, been in Ipswich now since uh, uh, 98. We came from the mines. We came back to Ipswich. Uh, we were heavily involved with churches up in central Queensland, uh, sleep planning churches and helping churches and being heavily involved with a lot of churches, including uh, Baptist Church in Thierry, actually. Uh, and we came to Ipswich and we were involved originally with Salvation Army. Play uh, as multiple sclerosis, but she was uh, involved a lot with singing. And she was a lead singer in a lot of the, uh, the bands we were involved with. And um, uh, me as an electrician, I've sort of uh, been involved with a lot of the sound and a lot of lighting and all those sort of areas. So, yeah, a nice. very practical guy that knows which way the positives and negatives go, which <laughs> every home should have. Otherwise, you, you plug in things in, you get a few sparks, and then we've got to call you out. That's not the right way to do it, is it? No, no, no. No. Uh, you've been involved in, in Kruger for some time, and you and Faye have found it a, a nice home in terms of your church family. Yeah, lovely place. And really lovely people, uh, a great group and um, always very encouraging and, yeah, lovely to be there and look forward to Sunday mornings and other times we can catch up with people and a great group of people. Chris, you sound like a dynamic couple. You were telling me a bit of um, Faye's background, 30 years of multiple sclerosis, dealing with a number of other conditions and things as well. It must have been quite a journey for you as a couple. Uh, yeah, I think Faye's been very strong in the Lord. I think it's been the big, uh, the big thing I think I can take positive from. Um, to see my wife struggle with her multiple sclerosis and still be able to go up and lead a band and be the lead singer in a band is something that you don't have the chance to be able to do every day. And uh, she was also a large part in looking after wildlife up in central Queensland as well. So she took all those roles on and in spite of the fact that she was handicapped with her multiple sclerosis, she didn't let that affect her. She just said a prayer and just stepped out in faith. And I think that's uh, you, a lot of respect on my part. You were telling me that Faye's also had to deal with um, being an asthmatic as well as some recent arthritis. Yeah. Now, something that we're all conscious of has been what's been happening with COVID-19 and anybody with either heart or respiratory conditions, there, there is a concern. Tell us how you've had to deal with that because you were in a working situation, but you wanted to take care of Faye at the same time. How did you start to reconcile those things as that has come upon all of us, The um, how quick this has been something we've had to face? The... I think the Lord has um, been, well, I know the Lord's been totally in control of this particular situation. Um, I was team leader at Orcon and uh, steel manufacturing. We did uh, produce welded steel. Uh, and basically, uh, one of the guys that was working for me, I was a team leader, um, electrician, and um, one of the guys left and we couldn't replace him in a, in a hurry, so basically I was doing shift work. Now, Faye needed my assistance at night times, so her doctor suggested that I needed to look at um, getting off shift work. They were unable to get me off shift work, so um, I, we put our resignation in. And uh, three weeks before I was actually due to finish, uh, all this COVID-19 came up, and uh, the doctor actually put me off on carer's leave, and uh, the company terminated me at that time, and, it was all the Lord had that planned from the start, I think, and um, it just 
fell into place beautifully. The company did the right thing and everything worked out really, really well. And um, it all was in the Lord's time. As I was talking to you earlier about if if I'd still been team leader, I probably would have stayed there to try and help the team to come through. But the fact that I was, had to go on the shift made the change to put in the resignation more practical. So uh, just everything worked well. We were, we were talking earlier, and I guess everyone in Kruger would have a story about saying, we couldn't have planned it better, uh, the plans of men, eh? But in yeah. terms of the way things are working out, you're now able to spend time with Faye. Um, how are you guys feeling as you face what's been happening with COVID? Is you feeling that the home isolation is giving you the protection that you need at the moment? I think um, we're relying less on the home isolation and more on the fact that we know that God's got it all under control. We... Uh, John Sutton sent a thing on Facebook the other day from a, a Belfast preacher that had been, um, I'm not sure how many people have actually seen it. He had actually had COVID 19 and um, he was praying about it and had a clean coming. And it's a really, if you've got a chance to have a look at it, it's, it's really, really inspiring. Um, that and uh, the fact that a couple of different songs that are really inspirational is. Um, uh, I'll Run To You by Hillsong, um, His Eyes on the Sparrow. And um, uh, there's a couple of other ones that were really inspiring, uh, that inspire us, that God's looking after us and, and we're going to be, we'll be fine. Whatever happens, we're in the centre of what God wants us to do. And we faith that that's where we're going to be. Chris, it's really exciting just to, to hear your story and, and the courage and faith as well, If um, both of you as a couple. Hopefully we'll be catching up with you again on Sunday mornings, but in the meantime, we'll probably see you online. And uh, if you haven't connected, you'll see Chris as part of our, our Facebook group um, for Kruger Baptist. Look him up. Chris, thanks very much. We're going to do some more stories over the next little while. So I'd encourage you to stay here. Make sure that you're sharing any of these videos. And if you've got somebody that has a story to tell, contact the church office. You can uh, probably easiest to do it via the Facebook page and have a talk to Pastor Matt, Sid, Pastor Mark, and tell them that you've got a story and we'll get you on the program as well. Been good talking. Thanks, Chris.